Today, let's continue our look at some of the tools that you typically find in a blacksmith shop, and specifically some of the tools that I have in my shop. Welcome back to Black Bear Forge and the tool of the day. We've been taking a look at the tools that I keep in this little drawer cabinet that I made. And today I think we're actually going to look at two drawers because both of them have very little in them and they're kind of obscure oddball things. So maybe we'll not only take a look at both drawers, but maybe we'll look at the way the drawers are built if you're thinking about building something like this yourself. Fine furniture, it is not. So I think we are on to drawer number four. This one looks untouched. And in here are basically slitting chisels with drifts to match, or they're supposed to be drifts to match. A lot of these have uh, gotten mismatched and stuff isn't in here anymore. But these are typically a, a chisel with a slightly chisel shaped drift to help open up the hole, and then a drift to do the final size of the hole. And at one point I had three of each for all of the different sizes I have in here. And right now I don't see all those, but they're probably hiding in another drawer pretending there's some other tool right now. And that's really all that this is. This is just a longer handled slitting chisel and it actually goes with this set. This one used under the treadle hammer or the power hammer. This one used by hand. And then I just keep a few blocks of material that are useful for various things. Has a little radius on the side for something. Not even sure what some of those are in there for, just the kind of junk that shows up in a tool cabinet. And the next drawer down isn't much more specific. I have some just interesting sort of punches. Here's a, a diamond shaped punch. It's not really a center punch, it's more of an ornamental shape. Some sort of an oddball tool that I have no idea what it is, just ended up in here. A little stamp in the shape of a bear, and a little cross-shaped stamp. This was actually a star drill once. So just some things that might do some ornamental stamping. Nothing really very fancy or very special. I have a little mandrel here that was for a special project that I'll probably never do again, but it's got that shape if I ever want to make that piece again. Just a little teardrop punch, so again, just oddball stuff. These, on the other hand, we'll look at in more detail when we do some axe forging and get into nicer axes. This is an idea from James Austin, and he actually sells some tools like this, or he did at one point. I think it takes a while to get them from him because he's really busy. But these are somewhat of a chisel for cleaning up the inside of an axe eye that might have a burr or an uneven area in it. And there's one oval and one round, and I have just two two sets of these for various axes, and they're made out of S7. I don't think there's anything in these drawers that you need in a typical beginner's blacksmith shop. We're only looking at these because I promised we would look at everything in this cabinet. Now these drawers are really quite simple. It's a piece of three quarter inch plywood with a one by front that's the, the right size for whatever space you want, and then just a frame glued and screwed from the bottom to hold that frame onto the plywood. So it's very solid, very stout, and this little lip here just slides on these rails on the side of the drawer, or side of the cabinet, and again they're just glued and screwed on the cabinet. So there's nothing special, nothing fancy, it's just construction yard lumber, and some handles so they're easier to open. And you get a little preview of drawer number five there, and it is a full drawer. So we're going to look at that one tomorrow. Well, I realize those two drawers aren't uh, the most exciting, but I did say we would look in every drawer. So now we've looked in those. Tomorrow we're going to go into the drawer that has most of the figure carving type tools. And this has the set of tools that we made when we did the dragon project. So if you're more interested in those tools, we'll take a second look at those. Even though you may have seen most of what there is to offer in that previous video. But if you haven't seen that, we'll take a look at it tomorrow. I do hope you found something useful in that video and can give it a thumbs up. I'd love it if you hit that subscribe button. Feel free to watch more of the videos, share the videos with your friends or on social media. But then make time in your day to get out to the shop, make something, but do stay safe.
do wear your safety glasses, and we'll see you tomorrow.